Hello, my name is Sinva, and welcome to Cult of the Lamb, a uh, cultist edition. Uh, I really like Binding of Isaac, and by really like Binding of Isaac, I mean like I've played a, the crap out of it when it was really popular. As I started getting to the nail end of things, I started waning off, and you know, time passed, and then Inscription came, and I never played that game, and I really wanted to, but then I saw all the story attributes of it, so, you know... Yeah, that was <sighs> neither here nor there. But for right now, I'm actually at the right time. I have the game, everything's out, and we're all good. I'm talking too much. Let's get right into it. Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one who waits below. Yet sacrificial beast, take heed. For a crown cannot sit upon two brows. But every person has two eyebrows. You could have said four. That would have made more sense. Aw, look at him. He's so sad. So sad. Oh, oh. This is also me testing for controller stuff. It's a little delayed. I might switch to P switch. To <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Whatever. Just a sad boy in a sad ways. Yes. They don't like me. I'm assuming that I have to go in here. Like I can't go past this rock brush. They're all just like, absolutely not. You will get destroyed. All right. Well, time to go, I guess. You know, like, is there a reason for, for all this? Like, why does he have to be such a sad boy? I mean, look at him. He's just so sad. And of course he had like the eye, the eye monocle guys. And don't forget the freaking pentagram. Kneel to be sacrificed? I mean, I guess they did this in the olden days, so. Before us stands the last of its kind. All others we have hunted down and put to the blade. Jesus, man, why? Do they, they hate cuteness? This is the anti-cute club. That, I mean, look at them. They're like, they're like atrocious monsters. Like, look. The little teeth things over there. This vagina monster on the third. Ugh. And then I don't even know. It was like a meatball with like cat eyes or cat ears on the on the first part. I don't know. That's that's some weird stuff. There. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies be bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity, and the old faith shall be preserved. The old faith. Uh, this isn't looking good for him, man. I just got to play. Okay, well. Yo, I'm liking the glitch vibe. He's like red and blue now. He's still sad. <laughs> He's like, I'm dead now. What the fuck do I do now? Oh my gosh, it's it's such like a glitched look. Oh, like what the heck? Come closer, fear not, for though you are already dead, I still have need of you. The one who waits. Yo, I know the, I know about the king in yellow, but I have no idea who the one in who waits is. I think I feel like that's just its own thing. Uh, those foolish bishops that thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is that you start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? Uh, I I don't have a choice in the matter. So yes, sure. <laughs> I've gained a crown. That is 
That's the image that I saw that made me feel like, yeah, this is definitely going to be a, a game similar to Isaac. Attack and dodge roll. Okay. Okay, so far I'm feeling flow. Oh, I completely just rash rushed past that dude. Just press circle to avoid damage. I'm assuming I'm about to take damage. Look at him, he's hype now. Look at our look at our hype boy. He went from sad to hype. You know, if all it takes is a dark master to help you to help you get happiness in life, I don't think that's too bad to bad of a trade. Unless he's being controlled. Fear not, I am Rato. I was a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. You know, that that's good to hear, because I honestly thought he would kill me by the end of this. I, <laughs> he looks so excited. He's like, yes, man. I was almost like killed too. Can you believe that? They took my eye. <laughs> so, anyway, I was sent to, to guide you. We are in deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. Ahead? Uh, it's it's in my brain now. It's too late now. I will be close by. Uh, okay. He's he's like I guess like a mole or something. Okay. Battle time. Okay, so I have to be careful here. All right, chill, chill. We got a coin, the currency used for all manner of things. I don't know, man, <laughs> I feel like this is a very religious area. So in most, in most cases, right, it would be like, hey, uh, that coin doesn't count because it wasn't blessed by the old old ways or whatever it's called, the old, the old gods. <laughs> um. Let's go, let's go. Okay, controller, by the way, is doing real fine. I was worried at first, but I think it's just me. Oh, did I get hit? I have no idea. I don't even know where my health is. Oh, is that spiders? I also never got onto the Hades string, so I... I know that I kind of understand this kind of view. I've seen some playthroughs of that, but no idea. Oh, okay. I think I'm doing well so far. This is probably like the easiest enemies in the game. Oh. Uh. Bird, burb, a little burb. Um. Where is the way out of this? Oop, I think I might have gotten hit, but I have no idea. I, I appreciate the vibrations to tell me what the hell I'm doing wrong or right. Coinage. Nice. Three coins. Okay, kneeling person. Another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them and you they would have no choice but to join your new cult. You could just rescue them and leave them be, but you know, we can just do that as well. Almighty, almighty bishops of the old faith. I'm assuming it's the vagina guys again. Uh, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of the wretched school. Hey. Who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on our sacred ground? Okay, well, I do, and unless you have sword weaving skills. Uh you're kinda screwed. Okay, I'm just gonna go the jab route. I'm addicted to combos. 
Leaving them would be bad for cult business? Definitely. I can't forget that this is my cult now. I just look at, I love how mad he is whenever he's like running. Like, look at this. He's like so, he's so determined to, <laughs> to kill everything in sight. Anyway. Holy shit. I didn't even think we'd have those kind of powers now. All right, whatever, whatever. It's fine. We, we just send people into the void. It's fine. <laughs> he's our follower now, I guess. <laughs> Uh, we have reached safety. You have done well. Uh, hold on one second, guys. Uh, I think I just want to see. No, we have not. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, Twitch was trying to scare me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, we have reached safety. You have done well. The red crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself to great distances. It will take you a temple that has fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. Okay, we can return to the cult. I guess we can transport ourselves as well. Yes, we can. Nice. All right, so no damage bonus plus 50% on new items. Um, I don't even know if I, I guess I never took damage. That I'm just that good. Uh, no guessing, you have spared his life, thus he owes you said life. I mean, for if it was me that was saved, I'd be like, oh, thank you, man. I'm so glad you saved me, but uh, can I like go back home now? And, and instead you just teleport me down. I'm like, oh shit, not again, not again. Anyway. Um, developer recommended is for moderate players looking for a well-rounded experience. For experienced place players looking for a challenge. Recommended for recommended for players with a death wish. Now, I don't know what's best, right? Obviously, I don't want easy. Medium is like, meh. Like, this is probably what I would choose if I was just playing, playing on my own because I know I'd go back to this. But this is the only time I probably will be streaming this. In continuity, I'm not saying that like this is the only stream or whatever, but like, it's maybe hard, not extra hard. I feel like hard. I'm, I think I'm experienced enough. This hollowed ground, which once was mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruin is said to be the site of your new cult, or is the new site of my new cult. Um. We have so much to do. We begin indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. Okay. Indoctrinate your follower. All right. Um, how do I do that? I guess I just go up to him. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Okay. Randomize. No dablage. Yes, exactly. Uh, randomize is probably what I do first. So basically, I can call this guy whatever I want. I'm going to call this guy. Uh, we could just call him like. Uh, oh, I oh the the keyboard. I have to use my keyboard. Okay, hold up. <laughs> I've, I, I, I tucked in my keyboard and everything because I was like, oh, I'm using controller. It's fine. You know what? Fuck it. Uh, we'll, we'll name you Hannah Jewel for now because I, I didn't even think about that. We could totally like give him some features. Monks, monk features. The blue monk features. With tribal markings. Why not? So... He's naturally, oh, we can't change these. He's naturally obedient. On recruiting this follower, immediately gain 10 faith. Yeah, I don't know what faith does. Lose five faith whenever another followers die. So basically for every, no, no, he just gives us 10 faith and we have to make sure that at least two don't die by the, by the time we're done with this thing, right? Like, and it's like worth it. I don't think we can change much about it anyway, so.
Okay. Oh, he can either chop trees or clear rubble. Um, I guess chop trees. By your hand, our cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. Okay, so we just got to gather resources now. Oh, wait, if I time it, is it like, don't starve? No, I think you just hold it. Whoa, whoa, our cult. Our cult? Oh, did he say our cult? I, I, I to that totally brushed past my mind. I, I guess I have protagonist brain right now. <laughs> it's like straight up. It's just like, oh yeah, he said something like that, I guess. Uh, let's just trust him anyway. Like, wait a second. If you really think about it though, if he's like teaching us all this stuff and he was like the previous cult member, then what happened to all of his like cult leader? Then what happened to... Does it prohibit using flashlights? I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean, I could make it prohibit using flashlights. I could. Um, he was saying your cult before. Uh, I think that. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, might have been the slip of the tongue. I mean, he still follows his, his the god deity thing. Anyway, we gotta build this cooking fire. I, I got enough stuff. Uh, let's see, cooking fire. Okay, so this is a place where we're gonna be cooking stuff. Maybe like here? It seems like a good place. I would say that this cult should have something ar around not using flashlights. If I had the choice or the option, but I think these this is too uh, plateaued for it anyway. <laughs> Like they're too plateaued in technology tree for them to ever get to the point of being being able to create flashlights. Like, could you imagine we're just the tech cult? That seems so so anti cultish. Yeah, we're the cult that like makes things. <laughs> no torches. Okay, that's that's a good equivalent. Your followers need to eat. It's up to you to provide meals for them. Okay, the hunger of your cult can be seen on the top left of the screen. When it gets too low, followers begin to starve. Find more food while crusading, pick routes, and pass through foraging locations. Plant farms and grow your food. Seeds can be purchased on the and found whilst crusading. Okay, okay, okay. So we have the food meter now. So now we gotta... We need berries. So we just gotta grab the berries off of this, right? I'm kind of scared about the controller because sometimes it veers off a little bit. I just gotta get used to it. Hold on, hold on. It's like, it's kind of weird. I don't, I don't want to be that player. <laughs> oh, it's just about, it's, okay, cool, whatever. Yeah, we got, we have it now. Now you can cook. Now, now you have food. Fires for the leader only. Why does the tree sparkle? I mean, I can chop it down and find out. Now we must build a shrine, but first we will need more followers and more gold. Both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the Old Faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four ships of Old Faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. You have conjured openings of their realms. It is your task to track them down and slay them so that he may be freed. Now go! There you shall you should find gold and willing recruits for those who are not willing to convert them by force. Oh, wait. Willing, convert them by force. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I guess that's... I guess that's okay. I'm, I feel like we're gonna have an option. You know, like, we aren't gonna completely be forced to, right? Like, maybe, like, the first one or whatever. But then later on, we're like, do we really want to convert these guys by force? I think it's just the type of wood that we're having. Oh, that's just, that's gonna take a crap ton of a long time. This guy's chopping wood already. So I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna create another like food for him so that way he can like, um, not starve. And then we'll just be on our way.
Okay. Fuck. Easy, easy. All right, so now he has food. Followers deposit resources here while you're away. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so now we're going back up. All right, so that's the the cat hat one. Oh, all okay. The all of them have different points. That's what they are. Okay, so he's the one point. He's two point. Why are we starting with two point? Uh, three point, and then two points again. These guys can't harm me, can they? Well, I'm scaring the crap out of them, so I'm assuming not. Silk cradle, requires twelve followers. But okay, so that's kind of weird, right? Like. You have, we have, right, anyway, you have one, two, three, and then like, I'm guessing that's like just creep, creepy point or something. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go in the dark wood. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. 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 That's, that's just, all right. He just, okay. <laughs> I guess followers can do that now. They can just pop in and out of existence, like, no tomorrow. It's, I guess it's just a trick everybody learns. So we have two hearts, all right. Crusader's Blade. Doesn't look like we have any other choice but to use it. All right. All right. Liking this so far. Let's go. Okay, so I put this on hard mode. I'm assuming that this is the part where the roguelike kind of starts. So there's a half heart there. That's nice. Nice of them to give me that. And as per usual, when you break everything, you get absolutely nothing. So. <laughs> I'm assuming that there is stuff hidden that's just like light. I also want to see if maybe the hearts are like kept in the same rooms too. Like if I go back to this room, the half heart's still there. Okay, great, great, great. But it doesn't show on the map. So that's good. For me to have to remember all that. And by good, I mean completely horrible, but you know. Uh. <laughs> Devs want to be mean? Fine, fine, whatever. To be fair, I'm doing pretty well. All right, down we go. Oh, see, I so I took a half heart of damage there because I didn't dodge. Ah! Lol. If you hit them before they go, you can actually stun them. That's good. So i am just been grabbing stuff and not really knowing what I'm getting. So right now we have gold, we have some stone, some lumber, some grass, some berries, and some berry bush street seeds. So we're getting a lot of stuff for our, our actual followers and stuff like that. It says return with more goals and return gold and return with more followers, right? So. All we have to look for is a follower, I guess, because we got some gold. I just completely ignored the half heart that I was trying to get for. Go for. Up we go. Oh, hello there. That, do, do you guys know about the power of Puff Girls and like him? He's giving me off a him vibe, but like if him was like a crocodile who was trying to hide in a tent. Uh, praise the lamb. Cloud neck? Cloud neck? Okay, that's just, what? <laughs> All right, I mean, I guess I don't see a neck, so I guess his, his neck is kind of hidden like the clouds, but whatever. Uh, hidden like the clouds. I don't even know what that means. Praise the lamb, conduit to the great power, promise to 
promised Liberator the old one waits below. So the cards showed me once, maybe many lifetimes ago, or has that yet to be? I've always been drawn to you. Draw, I've always drawn your cards, Lamb, and yet this is the first. Take these cards and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by, by me, they will grant you power. What power? Well, that is both known and unfathomable. The cards they shall decide. All right, uh, the lovers, you get, uh, th that's a blue heart. Can you read his book? I might, I'll try that. Um, and then death's door. Uh, when hit to half heart, all enemies will be dealt to damage. That's kind of cool. So like the moment I'm about to die, I'll deal two damage. I think that I think that's door. Your cards have been drawn. Look. Hearts, the lovers. I guess these are all the tarot cards. You get an extra half heart. You get one spirit heart, it looks like. Uh ten percent chance to deal critical. That's pretty good. Reveal the map, okay. Damages everything hit on screen when hit. So that's a black heart. Uh, deals poison damage to enemies struck. Attack rate increased by 1.25. Enemies fervor. Okay, okay, whatever. All right. Well, we'll, well, when we get it, we'll get it. All right, let's head back down. Let's finish off this map. I'm assuming that I don't know if we're getting anything by doing this, by like chopping stuff down. Follower will generate devotion faster. Okay, cool. Look how mad he was. Oh my God, I missed that. He was like floating in the mid in, in midair, just like, ah, yes, power. Anyway. Up we go. So we have a decision to make. We can either go for wood or berries. So food or wood. I mean, I feel like we have a lot of wood and I don't want our followers to starve. I'm assuming that's like an ongoing thing we have to worry about. So, all right. So it looks like we have to grab all these berries. Luckily, I feel like they quickened it up because they realized that was probably gonna get all of the berries. <laughs> Who says hunter gatherer when it's cults and followers? <laughs> uh, six berries, berry bush seed. Nice, nice. Getting a lot of proper resources. I mean, I've heard about all fruit diets, but hopefully we can get some more diversity in our diet as we go along, other than just berries and, well, berries. <laughs> they showed a radish on there, so I know it's gonna happen. Oh, we got some grass. Oh, probably from cutting the grass. So we, we do get stuff from doing that. All right, cool, cool, cool. Up we go. Oh God. All right. So I've taken damage only once so far. Happy day. But at the same time, I'm hoping that it's not going to be too easy, because if it is, that means that I have this difficulty again. I can feel fate's hands on the cards this night. All right, great. Give me a tarot card. I can either reveal the, the map or deal poison damage to enemies struck. Poison every time. Why would you ever look for the map whenever you can just deal poison damage and then kill everything that's on the map just by existing? Oh, almost got hit there. Ah, the poison's killing him. Look at him, he's flailing. Anyway. <laughs> All right. 
you know for a very cutesy game they do do they do know how to add like the graphic parts like little cute skeletons oh i got hit there because i was dumb and i waited uh what's going on uh Leshy, of course, of course he's named Leshy. How can this be? You were put to the blade, Lamb, as all your kind were, yet here you are. Stand, and yet here you stand before me, unrepentant. The crown, his power, could it be? But I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. Look, mi little meatball little nature meatball with two like things i'm pretty sure i can take you like pretty sure that you're just gonna like flake like smash me you're not the great meatball monster all right everything's fine you keep going hello are you going to attack me You've come far enough, little lamb. My, my followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I give myself to the cause, almighty oh leader. By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. Okay. So he's like oozing and now he turned into one of those. He turned into a chub. Okay. I don't want to get hit. And I immediately got hit. Leave it to me to get hit on the first boss. Poison damage. Poison damage. Poison damage. Poison damage. Oh, almost got hit there, too. So he just has a spew attack. That's, that's pretty easy. Oh. He turned back into his little conventional self. Aw, <laughs> oh, he's still determined even with bruises. He's like, yeah, who cares if I got fucking, fucking messed up? Look at me now. I'm too strong for that shit. Anyway. Please spare me, I'm assuming. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. As they descend into hell, they're like, oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> uh, berry 14, gold nugget, uh, stone 6. I would say gold nugget, right? Because we can get berries and stone from what we get. I don't, I've never seen gold nuggets. So are they like different? I wonder if you can get robes for your own followers. Oh, that'd be cool if you could like make the robes. So yeah, nuggets are completely different from like they can be refined into a, into coins. That's pretty good. So so far, return with more gold. Return with more followers. I kind of wish I didn't take as much damage as I did, but that's okay. Door is. Oh, I have a notch in the door. So most likely, if I get more notches. I can go in there. That's what I'm assuming. Maybe that's the door to Leshy. Like, knock, knock, Leshy. I got all the stuff I need. I defeated your four pillars or whatever. Even though there's only three pillar men that I know of. Uh... Oh, we have some stuff here. Oh, but it won't let me get the stuff because Ratal wants to talk to me. He, he didn't eat the food yet, man. This is there to rot. Uh, I'm relieved to see you made it safely and you have not returned alone. You've convinced more to join our faithful flock. Let us indoctrinate this new convert so that we may continue. Okay. Please spare me. Well, I mean, 
I don't think you can kill people the moment you and they enter the cold. He still has like the pus pustules on his head. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping you the way you are. Uh, seals 15 faster when sick and in bed rest. Five faith when a follower is sacrificed. Um, I can't sacrifice people yet, so that doesn't matter to me. Uh, generates devotion 15% faster. Okay, seems like an overall good. Like I, like I said, I can't really change anything about yeah. So, um, the other guy's doing wood, so you do stone. Followers will either work or worship. Worshiping followers generate devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you require a shrine. All right, so I'm assuming I had to build a shrine. Look at, this, look at the look at the emote for the shrine, man. <laughs> Have you ever seen Huggable Death? Because <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. Is there another place for it? Or no, I guess not. Build the shrine with my own two bare hands. The extra health for his open wounds is good. Oh, it's true. Praise be. Your followers can now worship you. Here is a new follower. Assign them to worship at the shrine. Then collect the devotion your followers generate at the shrine to unlock divine inspiration. We got another follower. It's a cat follower. His name is Jew No No. Okay, I'm changing that. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Well, you have been rebirthed, Jew No No. <laughs> Jew No No. <laughs> Jew No No. Anyway, uh, let's see. I want to name you my cat's name, but I'm gonna put it in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Clark, but Clark. That I named the same thing for my P5 run. So yeah, that seems good to me. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Now I go back to controller and now I can now I can be the It's an orange tab cab tabby already, or orange cat already, so that's pretty good. Choose form, color, and variants. Yeah, we're good. Ignores dissenters when they preach. That's right. That is right. That is a a loyal cat. <laughs> John, gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. Okay, sure, that's good. I mean, yeah, cats sleep. Cats like sleeping. Makes sense to me. This this is Clark. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you worship. Collect devotion from your shrine. Once you collect enough, you will unlock divine inspiration. The more followers worshiping at your shrine, the faster they will fill up. The if the shrine is full, they will stop worshiping until it is emptied. Once you have collected divine inspiration, unlock the new buildings for your cult through the shrine. Collect devotion from the shrine. Okay. We have devotion now. Okay. We can build a temple? Establish a temple to preach sermons and follow rituals. All right. We now can make a temple. Apparently there's a down. Is there an up? Oh, look at this. You think I am not savvy enough to see that there's a whole bunch of stuff up here? Anyway, can we unlock any other things? Use one in inspiration. Okay. I wonder what's more important, farmer sleeping bags, but I'm not super sure. Okay, we can view the upgrades and then, okay, cool, cool, cool. So we have that, now we wanna build a temple because we just got that. We need five stone. We'll just grab the stone that these guys have been making. Make demands of your follower. Give your command, give command to your follower. Um, I'm just talking to you because I want the stuff. Okay, so you just have to walk past it. All right, okay. cool, cool, cool. Oh, but here. I guess the guy hasn't gotten enough wood yet, or stone. Oh, that's gonna take a crap ton of time. I just want like five stone. All right, there we go. That's, oh, we need one more. 
yeah, I'm I'm digging this game so far. I'm like I'm liking the vibes. So we gotta build our temple, the place of our devotion, of of our followers' devotion, and my devotion, of course. But followers' devotion. Uh, we put the cooking area here, right? Uh, I didn't really think about this. I don't think it matters necessarily where exactly things go. So we do that. Cats are like this. They sleep 22 hours a day and then prance around the house at 4 a.m. because they, they are late on their noise quotas. That's exactly right. A part of me says I shouldn't be helping the followers build a temple for our Lord and Savior, but whatever. I will help because uh, I am not a, I'm not any better than them. <laughs> I just make a lot more than them. <laughs> the temple is the center of your cult. From from there, you will preach sermons to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fi fragile minds of your followers. You are responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, the followers will dissent against you and eventually leave. Your followers are ready to hear your word. Show them that you are the great leader. Preach a sermon from within your temple. Okay, I just got four of the... Uh... So is it filling up for the upgrade? Is that what it's doing? Oh, it's four out of 13 for the next point of devotion. Okay, okay, okay. So once, so once I get a full 13, I will get, have enough for another devotion. So I'm gonna go in here. Preach a sermon. Perform a sermon, drawing energy from your followers to bolster the power of the red crown. This is a banging like sermon area. Imagine entering your sermon area and you're immediately in space. With fours. <laughs> just the random number fours is just everywhere as well. All right. Strength through the flock. Through the faith of your followers, you grow stronger. Performing sermons will draw power from them and allow you to unlock new abilities, weapons, and curses. Followers with higher loyalty will generate more devotion. Therefore, the more followers you have, the more loyal they are, the quicker you will gain new abilities. So having more followers is probably very beneficial. Oh shit, we get a health upgrade from this? All right. Sermons every day. <laughs> There's never a day without sermons. That's that's the first law. <laughs> you already pre preached a sermon today? What? You're telling me we can't go an hour long? No hour long sermons, apparently. That's sad. You are amazing to behold. A natural leader, I see why you were chosen. If you are to guide your cult, you will need to declare a doctrine so that they may obey you. Declare doctrines. Okay. Return to the land of the old faith and seek out commandment stone fragments. With these, you'll be able to declare new doctrines. Okay. Down we go. So I gave a sermon, so I have more faith. But uh, since no one's eating this food, I guess we're okay on food. So, yeah, I guess we're just going to head back and just go to uh, Leshy Land. <laughs> the Darkwood, that's what it's called, the Darkwood. All right. Ah, I like Leshy Land better. Ooh, we have the Apostles Cleaver. All right. I'll be ta I'll be grabbing that, thank you. Oh. Wipe the floor with these mobs now. It is slower, but what is there a combo? Oh, there is a combo. Eh, it's pretty good. I'm gonna try single swings. I'm glad I found you. I bring good news. The one who waits is pleased with your progress and wishes to grant you a crown ability. Is there a reason why you couldn't have just came himself for Tal? Is there a reason why you are telling me this? Does he trust you so much more than I? He's just, he's, okay. Uh, all right, that was a little that was a little raw. Uh, sorry guys, you didn't you guys didn't have to see that. Hold the aim. All right. Oh, 
I can shoot all of these guys. It's it's kind of weird to hold triangle and aim, but I get it. Enemies you sl slay will now fervor. Now drop fervor. Collect this to replenish your curses. So these are curses. I should probably use these more often for like long range attacks and stuff like that. I'm assuming that there's probably more than the one that I have. Oh, nope. All right, cool, cool. So yeah, I think dodge is going to be a lot more uh, needed with this axe, but it's probably very worth it for the amount of damage that we're doing. It feels like it's supposed to be a lot of damage. All right, off we go. Uh, let's go right. Oh, stuck. Whoop. Uh, I felt a random vibrate. I didn't take damage, did I? I don't think I did. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I deserve that damage. <laughs> Uh, things never change, do they? <laughs> One day I will learn. Anyway, but uh, we got through that room, like fairly manhandled, but we're fine. God, these guys are aggressive. Okay, I want to start using that a little bit more, just like a mixture. I see why they went with this now. That was kind of easy for me to do. All right. Angie mode. Anyway, follower, follower will harvest bonus resources. All right, there we go. Um, I guess that's the way back or the boss. I want to make sure that there's not a room that we haven't seen yet. Because there's a chance that there could be more stuff that we could grab. Uh, let's see. Fervor's harvest. Enemies will drop two times more fervor. Deals poison damage when enemies struck. Enemies drop two times more fervor. I don't think that nearly matters. I think poison damage is still better. Off we go. Look, all I am is making making things harder for myself. All right, like making things harder for myself on hard mode because I didn't make things hard hard enough as it is. They don't make things hard enough as it is. Oh, we can get health, or I could go to the shop. It looks like, and or we can get stone. If we go to the shop, we end up going to a fight thing. Didn't we say we wanted more followers? The only way to get a new follower is if we go to the stone route. But then we skip out. What what does that mean? Like empty to full if we go this route? Um I kind of think we should go for more followers. I think that's I think that's the, the goal here. More followers means more devotion. More devotion means more upgrades. More upgrades means better life. <laughs> we can go, we can probably check out the shop later. The worm is the worm. It is hungry. It feeds. It partakes of our flesh, but as the price for safety. For that, we will give it our all. All right, it's cool. You missed. All right, used both of my shots on that. Bang. All right, that should be enough. Off we go. All right, we indoctrinated another follower. We're just moving out. It's kind of the point. Kind of wish you could like go back, but I assumed we couldn't. So 
I like how like the little guy like looks around whenever you choose an option. It's kind of good. Kind of cool. Hello. Oh, I, I can steal devotion. That's right, asshole. I got two stone. Okay. He just puts himself back together? What the heck, man? There's, I guess there's not a way to truly destroy it. Okay, whatever. Until I destroy him, he will just repair his own stuff. Uh, hello? So you foolishly persist, little lamb. I hear your lies, I smell your fear. The red crown rises again. But what an unworthy bearer it has. Unworthy bearer. Like I didn't, like I didn't just mosey on through his supposed guarded forest. Um, unless I die here, that would suck. It would suck if I died here. Cause I... <gasps> uh, no, 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 no. All right, I want health now. <laughs> I was a dumbass, please. <laughs> so, yeah. Things are going okay, I think. Yon's are gone. These lands were rife with gods in their adherence. What befell this pantheon? Alas, tis is the nature of the beast to forget, and the gods to be forgotten. Mayhap they left, mayhap they slept, mayhap they devoured with were were devoured and were devoured in turn. Those few who remained spread roots, spun webs, molded this world to meet them and theirs. To our land of many gods once. Hundreds now. I mean, I it feels like he's like from a different kind of planet. Like <laughs> he's like, man, there's so many gods. There were so little gods before, but now there's just way too many. Oh well. Pick up commandment stone fragment. Oh, it's pick up all three, it seems like. Alright. Chill. You found a commandment stone. Commandment stones are used to declare doctrines for your cult to follow. Use the altar in your temple to declare a new doctrine when you form, whenever you're, whenever you form a new commandment stone. Okay. So when we get back, we're gonna declare a doctrine. I don't know what kind of doctrine that'll be, but I will, I will declare a doctrine. I'm assuming that's where I can put the flashlight doctrine in. Be like, hey guys, no more flashlights. I mean, or torches for that matter. No, no in hindering light of any cause. Darkness is our only place. Oh, okay. I can, okay, that's a that's a foot. It's a foot, guys. It's a foot. Stop. Stop. <laughs> uh, Master of the art. Overall weapon damage increased by 1.2. Increased chance to better to spawn better chests. Um, I think I'll go with. The overall weapon damage. I like that. Yes, attack up. I'm kind of saddened that I don't that I can't find seem to find health here, but that's the them's the breaks whenever you don't know how to dodge. Hey, I will never get hit by that. Okay. I feel like we're good. <laughs> Do you see how the hat kind of like travels along with you? You you slice and it's like oh, it's like trying to chase after you. Oh, that's kind of cool. So basically, it's, basically it's like I don't want to be part of the battle when you're done. Yeah, I would like that. All right, all right. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh. Okay. All right. Okay, 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 okay. 
So this is definitely a... Okay, I'm almost dead. That's fine. All right, two hits, that's good. And I'm dead. Ah! Okay. I'm assuming that's the bot. Oh, I lost 30% of the items that I got? Ugh. Don't die next time, I guess. Fear not, for you are my chosen vessel, and death cannot halt you. Okay, great. As I kind of thought that it could. Uh, I shall not allow it, for I still have need of you. Take what you have gathered, build and strengthen the cult. This is how power is gained. Continue on, undaunted. Each time you are brought down, rise again stronger. Look how smiley he is when he says that. He's like, yes. I'm glad that you're dead, because every time you die, <laughs> I get a piece of your soul. Get another piece of your soul. What? I lost devotion because of that? All right, we're going for another sermon. What happened to the... Guys, uh... Cur He's just praying in the middle? All right. Okay, there's a lot of things that we need to do. I'm gonna indoctrinate this new guy. All right. Coming back from death and all. Yes, very weak. Resurrection is very weak, apparently. Work and devotion generation speed reduced by two. On recruiting follower immediately loses faith. What the fuck? All right, like. You can't just be like, oh, a new guy came in. I guess I'm not important anymore. Like, this is for the overall cause. You might be you might be the one that's to be sacrificed first when I get the chance, Thorder. All right, you're, you're the, you're, you'll be the first thing. You're, you're, you are a cow, so I mean, <laughs> I don't see why not at this rate. There's nothing really to build. Um. I'd say worship for now. <laughs> Look, why are you so mad? Worship, all right? Stop that shit. New recruit has naturally skipped. Hello? My faith is shaken. I can see through your lies. You are a fraud and I must tell the others. Your followers begin dissenting against you. This happens when your cult's faith is too low. A traitor is spreading falsehoods. Other followers may also be led astray. You can re-educate them or put them in prison or put them in prison to bring them back into the loving embrace of the cult, or just sacrifice them. You make the rules after all. Uh, what do I do? Uh, find a meal and eat. Re-educate the center. Yeah, like, dude, stop. I already heard enough of your lies for one day. We will continue our argument tomorrow. Oh my God. All cause I died. All right, sermon time. We have to save this. Art of the faithful. We can either get Bane weapons. Will food make him more obedient? Um, I should try that next. Curse of the Horde. What's that? Three new curses will appear on your crusades. Bane weapons have a chance of poisoning enemies when attacking. They will appear on your crusades. Um, I seem to really like the poison build. Plus, I feel like since that's our main source of attack, I want to go for that first. I'm glad that they enjoyed that. So, declare a new doctrine. Ritual unlocked. Dance around the flame to increase the cult's faith. Oh, that's perfect. I will do that. It is of this faith that we are to dance around the flame. For this is the only flame that you can dance, that you can use in the middle of night. No torches, none allowed. 
And they seem so happy about that. But I need, uh, what's it? I need bones? Why the hell do I need bones to make a fire? All right, whatever. I mean, of course you need bones. I, I mean, uh, of course you need them. How else can you disrupt the holy flames? No. Uh, preaching sermons, performing rituals, and providing the needs of your fo followers will keep their faith high. The bones of your enemies are required to perform such rituals. Destroy their skeletons and gather their bones. Return to the lands of the old faith. Gather bones from fallen enemies. Recruit more followers. And return to perform a ritual here in the temple. Starting a fire is a bone-breaking labor. You need spare bones just in case. <laughs> Look. There is only there's only so many bones we can break. At some point, we have to share, you know, share the bones between us. Perhaps you know all of one person's bones for the rest of us, for a proper ritual's sake. Form rituals in the temple. They usually raise faith or help you solve problems in the cult. Rituals performed by using the bones of your fallen enemies. After slaying a non-believer, desecrate the bodies. To gather their bones and use them to perform dark rituals in the temple. Wait, this must be it. This must be the place. But we only have the we only have the dance around the fire one. I'm assuming that's a ritual that we can get later. We can get the fleece of the lamb. So I guess we can upgrade our fleece as we go along. All right, cool, 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 cool. Wait, it still says green here, so I guess I'm missing something. Is it because I'm not, I didn't click on it or? It's probably because I haven't done it yet. Okay, cool. Off we go, off we go. Sharing bones, now that's a spicy cult. Okay, stop fucking dissenting, all right? Re-educate yourself. All right. What? All right. Eat, eat some food. Eat some food. All right. Eat some food. What do you mean? There's nothing. Oh, I guess there is nothing for you to eat. Where, where? <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? There's food right there. Oh, wait. Never mind. Eat. The center. Eat. And know your place. Eat and know your place. Now eat. Hello? Basic variable? Just... Do you forget yourself? Anyways. Oh, what if you can poison the food? Did you just shit? In my goddamn. What the fuck? Unsanitary conditions at your cult will cause your followers to become sick. If a follower is sick, assign them to bed rest or they could die. Resting will allow them to slowly recover. Poop, vomit, and dead bodies can cause illness to spread quickly throughout your cult. Cleaning the mess and burying the bodies will prevent the spread of illness. Can I put someone on cleaning duty? Oh my god, what else is unsanitary? Where's a... Uh... Did, did you guys real? Do you guys realize something? But like... We don't have a shrine. Like, anymore. Where's our shrine? I, wasn't it like right here? Uh-uh. Oh, well...